to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. Today I'm going to be making a batch of my polka dot patchouli soap. That's right, patchouli soap is really popular. Lots of people love it. So come along with me and I'll show you how I make it. Squee! <laughs> so first things first, I'm going to mix up my oils and goat's milk. They have been already dissolved together and just been sitting there cooling together. And now it's time to add my cold lye water. Everything is at room temperature or around about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. And I make sure that the lye and the oils are at roughly the same temperature or somewhere within 10 degrees of each other because otherwise things can go thick and you can have all sorts of havoc that can happen. So I'm going to bring my soap to a light trace and then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of titanium dioxide. I'm not going to be colouring any of the liquid soap because I have these awesome polka dot balls that I made and I'm going to be using them as the colour in the soap. So now I'm just adding the patchouli fragrance oil. I've added in roughly 20 mils there and I'm just going to have a sniff. This is actually not quite a double batch. I'm making one full loaf and one of my short bars for my wholesale order. And so I'm ad adding in just a little bit more patchouli because I want it to smell really strong of patchouli. And it is one of those scents that is a love or hate, I've noticed. Some people love it and some people hate it. It's kind of interesting. So now I'm just going to get my moulds ready and I'm going to pour my lovely white soap into the moulds. Filling one almost all the way up and filling one only about halfway. Because as I just mentioned, one's going to be making my full size bars and one's going to be for my little ones that I do for my wholesale order. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add all of those round balls that I've made. Squee! So now the soap has its little toppers, which I made with my soapy dough, and I'll leave a link below to that, if you want to learn how to make soapy dough. And it sits overnight, and I'm ready to cut it the next day. And I have to make sure that I cut it at just the right time. The white soap, the liquid surrounding soap that you just saw me make, has to be firm enough to hold the embeds in place, but you also don't want everything to get too hard, so it's a little bit tricky. So there's my tiny little end sliver of my short bars. I do quite like making these funny little short bars. I love that I have three different sizes to my product now. We've got the regular bars, we've got the small bars that you're seeing here, and I'm even making some teeny little hotel size bars, which have been going to my dad's accommodation, and I've been selling them as like baby shower favours and things like that. Super cool super cute and it's like a cheaper way to go if you don't want to buy a big full bar size and you can still just try a little bit of the soap out so that's pretty cool so yeah I think these soaps turned out really cool I'm really enjoying how spacey they look with like these planets almost all through them and they smell really lovely it's quite a fresh patchouli scent this one it's not too dirty and the way that I describe that might be a little bit funny to some people but they do say that Patchouli is one of those earthy scents, and sometimes it can just be really earthy, if you know what I mean. <laughs>
So that's it. We've cut both the logs, the little ones and the big tall ones now. And all in all, I'm pretty chuffed at how they came out. I think they look cute. And I got to use up a whole bunch of toppers, so for the one. <laughs> so here's a picture of the log out of the mold and just sitting there waiting to be cut and also a picture of the cut bars waiting to go up into the curing rack and I think they turned out pretty groovy and this week I would like to highlight Michelle Dixon and her beautiful little soaps that she shared in our group over on Facebook called Star Soaps Family. Aren't they adorable? They look downright edible. Good job Michelle. Yum yum. <laughs> So if you would like to have one of your photos highlighted in a Star Soaps video, please come along and join the group over on Facebook. Just search Star Soaps Family because we'd love to have you and I love to see what you create. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these little patchouli polka dot soaps. If you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below, become a member of our Star Soaps Family and feel the soapy love.